Hey, what is up, YouTubers? Jersey Joe here, and today's vlog day vlog time is going to be a special one because today we are going to talk about KMC that happened on Sunday, May fifth, two thousand thirteen, which to me was two days ago as recording of this video. Um, KMC, if some of you guys don't know, is called the Kaijudo Master Challenge, which is uh, Wizard of the Coast's giant tournament in the country. Only twenty four on twenty four stores in the country are doing it. And two of them are happening here in Texas, so I was lucky enough to be able to go to Richardson, Texas, for the Comic Asylum tournament, which was actually the f just kicking out the first week of KMC, which is really awesome. And then the second one will be in Tyler, Texas, happening at the Castle, I believe it's called, um, which will be June 29th of this year, which I think will be kick um, second to last uh, KMC of the season. So I'm really excited. Um, KMC was really awesome. Um, we had 59 players, um, and what surprised me the most was that Wizards of the Coast was there filming this, and not only Wizards of the Coast, but Ryan Miller himself was there, and it was a surprise to me and everybody else, because nobody else knew until we got there. It was amazing. Uh, it just made the, the event that much more memorable and spectacular to me, and I did really good. Um, I, re I ended up being 3-3. Three, three, um, it's mostly because of that Andromeda, the Water Dark Light Andromeda deck. It's powerful. I just didn't know. I just didn't know how to uh, fight against it. Uh, this is gonna be. This is my uh, Fire Nature Aggro Rush deck that I brought. I thought I was gonna get swamped, but I did really great. Um, I did better. Than I thought I would because I was running, you know, three one the whole time almost until like the last two rounds. So my deck it has potential. Um, that's why I want to show it off a little bit. So you guys can see, you know, how I ran it and stuff. And maybe if you guys see what I can change, maybe you guys can help me out. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so let's get on with the deck profile. So, uh, like I said, it's a Fire Nature Rush. And since KMC, I've added a few cards to it. Um, I'll point them out what I did, what I changed so far. And uh, let's you guys know. And the deck will change. When Clash comes out, it's probably going to change a little bit more. So, but this is the KMC deck profile that I brought the KMC, so it's not going to save her. <laughs> so, starting off the fire, we have three Jeff and Bodyguard. That's, oh, you know, it's a staple for uh, fire. It's literally, I run Evo, so obviously Evo Bait and, you know, the 1 1000 or 1 3000. Sorry, I was thinking Blaze Belcher. Um, he's really great bait. I just wish he wasn't a skirmisher. He helped me out so much he wasn't a skirmisher. It's, because I always play him, and I can always go for shield, but sadly not. And going on twos, we have two, I have three Dracon Whippersmith. Again, Evil Bait, and really, really great card. He comes out, he can get him on turn two, power attack for, you know, 3,000. He's a, he's a hitter sometimes, but mostly Evil Bait. Now, also, one of my favorite cards of this set, or the last set, is uh, Bronca the Treacherous. This guy is really, really cool. I like took out my cliff cutter immediately when I got a set of this guy. He's so he's he's good. Um, you know, level two two thousand. But with burn claw's ability, you know, when I bring burn claw, I can bring him out, and that's awesome. You know, it's an extra card. I can't attack with him that turn, but it's an extra card for next turn. You know, so I can you know hit hit hard. You know, so I love that ability. I love being able to summon cards with ability. So it's awesome. All right, we got. One Gatling Sky Tower for for level threes. Um, he just it makes my deck unique. I love Gatling Sky Tower. I've loved them since Duel Masters. So I used to have two, but I had to take some. I had to take them out so I can put other cards in here. But one's cool. One just you know it makes the deck different for me, and it just you know adds a card you know for nostalgia since I used to play Duel Masters all the time. So that's why he's in there. He you know it's three three thousand. Um, he he got nerfed, but. It's still a really great card. Still really fun to play with. Two Burn Claw. Now, I may take out Galling Sky Terror to add three of them in here, but so far two has helped me out a lot. Like I said, his ability is great to bring out Burn Bronca. This is a it's a great great um, combo. I mean, he doesn't get the double break, but I feel like the deadly duo um, ability it makes up for the double break. So. He's a great card, great Evo. So turn three, you know, bring out two cards in one turn. So it's really great. And for my other Evo, um, two Dracon, two Laser Arm Dracon. Um, again, double break level three. Like, 
an amazing, amazing. He's like literally like one of my favorite Evos <laughs> out of the uh, the Evo set. I mean, he's great. He's powerful. He's strong. You know, he can boost up to six thousand double break on turn three. I mean, that's awesome, man. That's heavy hitting turn three compared to other decks. You mean? He's just awesome. So, like I said, I may ticker with it. I may add three. I don't know. But on the turn four, we have three Gale Flame. Perfect. I mean, I only had one for a while, and it finally got me a set, and it's just, it's awesome. Gale Flame is good. He's ridiculously good, especially, in, you know, in this deck, you know. He gets me those hits when I need a hit. You know, if I need a card out that turn to attack or, to, you know, you know, save me a turn, save me a shield, he's that card. He's just, he's awesome. I'm sure everybody knows. It's, it's, it's Gila Flame, guys. I mean, come on. <laughs> Let me adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. Turn five. One Rage Fire Tat. Um, sorry about that. I got a text message. <laughs> anyways, anyways. So, turn five. We got one Rage Fire Tat Serion. Um, one is good. Like I said, um, his ability is really great. I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off, but I actually have been able to pull it off a lot when I get him. You know, no cards in hand. He gets, uh, he gets double break. And 3,000 power attack, which put my 8,000 double break, and also uh, he can't be targeted by shields and abilities, which has helped me out a lot um, because he's on a field, I attack, you know, my opponent hasn't been, can't touch him because of his ability, so he's really great for turn five. I got nothing else, I have him on a field, he can't be touched, so if I just, you know, just keep putting my cards in mana, you know, I can literally just double break every turn and him not being touched, so it's awesome. So, to finish off turn five, level fives, we have black two blast forge captains. Now here's where I made the first change. Originally, I only had one blast forge, uh, and the other one, the other level five was uh, twin kin maelstrom. Um, but Doran came see when I played my last round against the, I think his name was David, and he had a uh, water dark rush deck. Um, he was he was fun. He was a really cool guy to play against. But uh, we did some trades and. I took, he gave me one Blast Forge on a trade, and it's, it made sense, because Twin Cannon, he he, I, he got some plays in, but I just, he wasn't really needed. I feel like Blast Forge is needed more in my deck, because when I was playing against David, he had those, you know, I forgot what Scare Adorable it is, I think it's the first one, the, you know, like he can block but can't be destroyed, he had two of those, and I couldn't do anything, but as soon as I played Blast Forge, I attacked for shield, took them both out. It was awesome. So, this guy is really needed. I, he's really great for destroying blockers and is really great for powerhousing. Crater Eyes is such an amazing ability. I love it so much. So, I have two of those. Level sixes, we have one Tetserion. Um, I've had him since, you know, I got my very first pack of Kaijudo cards, or the battle deck, you know. He's awesome, you know. He's a really good card. You know, he can attack, tap creatures when he comes out to. Technically, he has fast attack if he's played on the right turn, so that's really a great bonus. And uh, you know, double break level six, it's you know a rate armored dragon, you know regular. So he's really great, you know. So uh, I came in, here. especially I use it for Evo Bait as well for uh, the other ten series, as you will see. But yeah, moving on to Bull Shack Dragon. This card. I love since the, since Duel Masters. This is the card that got me playing Duel Masters when I saw it in TV show. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't. <laughs> I used to have three in this deck, and that was a big mistake. I think one is good enough. One, you know, just kind of, you know, sets, you know, just gives, you know, gives my deck the theme that it's my deck. Because I don't think many people use Bullshock Dragon anymore in Kaijudo, which just makes me, my deck, more unique since I have Bullshock and Gatling Sky Terror in this deck. Both of them I used to have in Duel Masters, and both of them are staying in Kaijudo for me because they're amazing cards. They're they're they bring back memories, and they're not going anywhere. If I had to get rid of Gallant Sky Terror, I will. But Bullshock is not leaving at all. Bullshock Dragon is my card. I even have I still have my original Duel Masters one too, <laughs> but yeah, he's awesome and his ability is fantastic. He gets one thousand very fire card in the graveyard. I mean. This deck is majority fire, so you know he can get a good boost. You know, especially with the evos. You know that's already two cards. You destroy one evo, so he can get boosted high. You can get past blockers easily. So yeah, turn seven. The finish. Just finish off this set. Um, we have two, uh, two Falburn. Um, I had two, so I could set off his ability, and I haven't really. Got, it hasn't really worked for me. Um, it really sucks. <laughs> 
So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I may take one out. Maybe. We will see. But I'm still thinking about it. So, uh, really, like I said, he's really nervous just for that, you know, that ability. So, I can try to bring out... I, I tried using it for Bull Tail, but it didn't really happen. So, uh, we'll see. And finish off... Well, okay, not finish off. One more to go. But, uh, Evil Fury Tetsarion. Powerful card. Powerful, powerful card. He's, you know, if you play him right, he's really good and he can help out. He's been seeing some action lately, though. Not a whole lot, but, um, with the new, um, I hear there's new Evil Bait coming out, or Tetsurian Bait coming out in Clash for the new Tetsurian the Relentless, so, uh, we might get cheaper Tetsurians, so if, if he's Armored Dragon, of course, he could probably come into play a whole lot better. I hope so. But, uh, the new Tetsurian card is going to be awesome. But it's going to be hard to play since he has to be written on a Tetsurian card. So we'll see what's going to come out in the next set. Okay, and now the finish fire. We have one bull tail Dragon. Um, I, I threw him in there. I just got him in a trade like, a couple weeks ago. And I just put him in there for the fast attack. But I'm actually... I just got me... I just won me an auction for a Billion Degree Dragon. The new promo. And uh, I'm actually going to take Bolto out and put in Billion. Because Billion... Is awesome. Billion again, he brings back memories in Duel Masters. I never got Billion Degree in Duel Masters, but I used to want him so bad, so I'm taking out Bolt Tail because Billion Degree is it's literally the same, except Billion Degree can attack on tap creatures when he comes into field or but it's not tapped on tap, I forgot, but uh yeah, so it's I'm not losing I'm losing a thousand attacks. Bolt is only six thousand, but it's okay. Not a huge loss. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, now we're going to move on to nature. Starting with the nature, we have three prickles. Again, it's uh, it's Rush, so you, of course we're going to have him, and he's great evil bait. He's also a good card. Hidden Run's good ability. He's helped me out a lot. In KMC, he, he did help me out a lot when I had no other cards in the field and I didn't have my evil in my hand. I actually used the ability, you know, attacked the shield. I actually like, got like three shields off with him before anything else happened. So... If I have slow turns, he's really good, so. Two Moon Howler. That's all I got. <laughs> if I can get another one, I'll put three in here. Um, but again, he's mostly he's evil bait, of course. Alright, here comes another change in the deck. We have three razor hide. Um originally I had two. But I realized I really need a razor hide. Because I needed more nature support in his deck. So I took out my Kanina, the DSI Kanina. I took him out and put in Razor Hide. Now I need to get another one. I only have two promos. <laughs> but Razor Hide is good. I mean, he's mostly used, so I can use for Evo, but his ability is, you know, I can get mana, you know, by just by attacking. So it, his ability is really good. So that's why I want to put more Nature in here, because Nature is really great for mana support. So I need that. So. I'm going to try to add more nature on the way until the next camp scene. Hopefully, I can pull it off. All right, in turn four, we have three Saber Bolt. My favorite nature card. I love this guy. His artwork's awesome. His ability's awesome. 7,000 Double Break is just ridiculous for turn four. I mean, put him down. I mean, he's a force to be reckoned with. But he doesn't get enough play because I don't get the bait out. And sometimes, though, people know what I'm playing. Like, they see me pull down Prickleback or... Razor High, they know what I'm about to do. So a lot of times, people go after my Razor High, which sucks. <laughs> but that's why I'm putting more nature in here so I can bring him out more. And his ability's great, you know. Uh, one with nature, I mean, when he's destroyed, that's two extra mana in one turn. So, amazing card and great nature draw. Now we have turn five, uh, Giga Horn Charger. Uh, he doesn't really see much play anymore. And his ability, I don't really need it anymore because... I always get the cards I want now, so it's really hard to play. I mean, it has been one or two times like I get, I get Gale Flame and play him, and that's helped me out. But I don't know yet. I may, um, I may try to get uh, Mighty Shouter, Mighty Shouter of the Shaman, and put him in here because he's he's also turn five, five thousand, and he, he gives he's a Beastkin, but also gives um, all the creatures two thousand when he attacks. So. I don't know yet. I'm still de I'm still deciding, but we'll see along the way. And the last card for nature is Flame Spike Tatsurion. An amazing card for nature. Um, 
I mean, Double Break, Evo on Beastkin, and his ability, I mean, when he's battling, he gets the 6,000 boost, so, whew, <laughs> sorry, long day, but, uh, he can boost, what, I think 3,000, right? Yeah, my math's 4,000, 14,000, that's powerful. I mean, when he's battling, so if he, if he attacks, or if somebody attacks him, he's, thir he's 14,000. They should have just kept him at 14,000, I think, but <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, he's super powerful. I mean, I love his artwork, too. Just, he's an awesome card, and, yeah, just, he's a, he's a power hitter, so. All right, so that's it for the monsters, so let's go on to the spells. Starting off with the fire, we have three Con Missile. Con Missile is awesome. It takes up. Whoo, another tech message again. Woo-hoo. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, anyways, continuing. So, yeah, three con missile. It's great for e cheap, cheap spell to take out any blocker. So, Grand Tour, um, Revolver, Revolver Fish, any of them. Boom, right there. It's cast two or spell, you know, Shield Block three takes out all, any and all blockers. So, it's awesome. And we have the last three spells. Tornado Flame. A set is awesome. I love Tornado Flame. It's one of my favorite spell cards since Duel Masters. Again, this helps take out blockers. Um, newer cards are getting stronger. So right, so so far, I really haven't been able to pull his ability because like newer cards are stronger. Like like the dragons are like eleven thousand. So this card doesn't really get them anymore. But early play, this card is good. It helps helps clear the field out a little bit. So yeah. Um, now we have Energize. Uh, for nature, um, it's a, I took I um used to have rock bite. This is before KMC, but rock bite wasn't doing much for me because it's only three thousand and it just wasn't doing me a whole lot of good. So I took them out before KMC and put this in, and it, it's helped me out a little bit. Um, it's good for mana charge. Um, it also is good for blockers. So I'm saying like I cast a spell, I get a mana, and my monsters go up by one thousand. That could just be enough to get past a blocker, or saying if I'm being attacked and this goes off as a shield blast. Um, they're going to take a monster, but now they're a thousand attack stronger, so now they can't, like, kamikaze their card or something like that, so, this could come in handy. We'll see what Clash has. If Clash has some really good shield blast, I will take these out and put them in, but we'll see. And starting turn six, we have one Tendergrass. This card, I only have one. If I can get more, I will put more in here, but this card has helped me out a lot. It actually helped me out the first round of KMC. I was winning. I had one rage fire in the field. He had no shield, but he had like three blockers, and I could, you know, I won the win as soon as possible because you know it was my first round. I really want, you know, I was amped up, so I kept telling myself, I'm like, I need to draw any spell card, and I can win this almost. So I draw a card, and there it was, Tindal Grasp, wiped out his field. And I attacked with Tadomida. <laughs> so this card is good. If I can get more, I will. But I haven't seen any. I haven't been on a chance to get any yet. But amazing card. And here's. And snare this card. Um, I did take another card for this card. I took out Moonra the Vengeful the promo. Be um, I had him during uh, KMC, but I never play him. I never do. I don't know why. Just in his level nine, it's just hard to bring out for me, I guess. But uh, I took him out for Ensnare. Hopefully that this can give me the uh, the Andromeda defense that I need. Um, it's gonna be hard though because your opponent has to choose <clears throat> an untapped card. So if he attacks, attack goes off. Shield Blast. It actually gave me a defense. Saying like he attacked, he has two cards if he had. He attacked a one. I played this, and now you got to destroy his other cards. So now he can't attack me for that turn. It saves me, saves me a turn. So, or a shield. So, this can go. This can be a really good defense. If I can get, again, if I can get more, I may add more. But this right now is being under testing. So we'll see where it goes. And the last card is Root Trap. Awesome card. I mean, put. I can just pick a card, it goes right to mana, so, again, I can pick Andromeda and shoot him out. So, hopefully, you know, hopefully, I can do good. But that's my deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is what I brought, this is what I brought to KMC, my first time in Richardson. So, when K, K uh, when the Clash comes out, we'll see what happens. When it comes out, I will make a deck profile after the, after KMC of what I did and what I changed. If you guys want to see it, but yeah, but anyways, guys. So um, that's that's my deck profile. Um, speaking of, I want to give some shout outs before I end this video. Um, I want to give a big thanks to Wizard of the Coast for uh, having 
you know, set up these organized plays finally, and for even being there to film the events, it was just amazing. It was really cool to see all that. Um, I also want to give a big thanks out to Ryan Miller for even coming down and being a part of this and showing up and giving us a sneak peek. He is so cool. He's a cool guy in person. Um, he, he talks to you for hours. He's not shy. He just tells you things. There's some things he can't tell you, but he kind of hints. He can kind of give you a sneak peek of what's coming up. He's really cool. He's really down to earth and really cool. We're going to miss you, Ryan. It sucks to see you leave, but uh, I hope to see some articles from you. But, uh, you know, things, you know, priorities have to change. You know, I don't blame you. So, good luck in the future, Ryan. I also want to, I also want to say thank you and a shout out to Carl Reddish, a.k.a. Thunder Sultan. Um, this man helped me out a lot. He's the reason why I became part of the uh, the Texas Kaijudo Facebook group and showed up for uh, KMC and Richardson. I mean... He's an awesome guy. If you guys don't subscribe to him, go ahead and subscribe to him. Link will be down below. I'm going to point that in there. Link down below in this area. Um, I'll put links to all these guys down below in their Facebooks or Twitters and all that stuff. Kaijudo.com. So, yeah. But Carl, he's a great guy. He he is in the game. He owns the zone. So, a big shout out to him. It was really cool to see him in person. We just hung out. and Him and TKC had an awesome battle. And speaking of TKC, the Kaijudo channel, Corey himself... Oh my gosh, to see him there it was awesome. He's from Canada. So to see him fly all the way down here to Texas to be a part of this was awesome. Ugh. So, TKC, you're the man. Um, I We talked for hours. like We hung out almost in between rounds. And he's a cool guy to hang out with and talk to about future, um, future cards and meta and play tactics. He's just a cool guy in general. You know, I, bought, I got him a McRap. <laughs> but he's cool. Um... Yeah, so yeah, link down below to, you know, follow him on Face on YouTube, follow him on Twitter, follow all these guys, follow them. These guys are amazing people and they're a huge part of the Kaijudo community, you know, and like Earth Power and CVH. Um, they helped, um, Earth Power helped me out find Carl, so I went for Earth Power, I wouldn't have found uh, Carl, which i probably would still be at home alone <laughs> playing Kaijudo with my brother. So a big shout out to all these guys. Um, if you guys... Are part of the, in Austin, guys. Show up to Dragon's Lair in Austin because I am I am sort of in charge of the events there. So I'm just making a small group. It was just three of us who showed up to KMC for Austin. So, well, you know, I want to try to increase that a little bit. You know, try to give Austin some support and some love. You know, but it was cool. I mean, me, me and my buddy. Matt and Brennan went as a team, and we were just, you know, it was cool. The three of us did really well there. We all did better than we thought we would, so we're definitely going to tune up our decks. We're definitely going to get by a crap ton of Clash, so we're definitely going to be prepared for Tyler, and we're going to Tyler, so you guys better be ready. If you're going to Tyler, you better be ready, because Team Austin is coming, baby. So, we need to come up with a better team name. Hmm. Anyways, guys, yeah. So, like I said, link down below. Uh, Description box has all the links and all this stuff to follow these guys. Go to Kaijuda page, go to Wizard of Coast, Ryan Miller, Carl, Earth Power, um, all of them. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, this is Jersey Joe. Hope you like this video. Signing out.